Hello and welcome to the internet. I'm the Yogmoss Vile Offering and I'm here with Elfheim Druid. So I'm here with Slimefoot the Stowaway and uh, we'd like to... Is it just an offering? No way, it's gotta be this guy, right? When, when Sapperling Control dies, does one damage to each opponent and you gain one life, create a 1-1. One, one. That's pretty strong. It's real strong. This guy takes over the game. Plus, how many times do we get stuck with cards like this in our hand? All day, every day. Every day. It's slimy. Oh, and then we get to pass this Knight of Malice and this Sap Herd. I don't know what to take. I think it's Knight of Malice. Snacks have been a good idea. They've kept me from getting uh, fatigued on stream. So. But Sap goes with your slime foot. You're right. But this guy goes with attacking and blocking. True. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's night. We can get more sap herds. You're a sap herd. You're the sap herd around the world is what you are, buddy. Certainly a sap. Michael B. Take me home. To the place. Where Michael B. Hey man, you're not eating your banoodle? I already ate my banoodle. No, no. The banoodle is the skin. What is it called? The Benoodle. The Benoodle? Yeah. Huh. Now you put them in water for a couple minutes, you got yourself some nice Benoodles. So you're saying if I put this banana banana peel, otherwise known as the Benoodle, if I put it in water for a couple minutes... Just like pasta. I... You know, I have my doubts. Oh, I'll except it's inedible. Other than that. <laughs> and it probably smells terrible, but that was a pretty easy pick. I'm just going to take this sapperling... My migrazi, saprling migrazione. That's from the Italian, in case you guys didn't from know. From the Italian. It's like the Benoodle. Okay? Okay. Good talk, Michael. Good talk. Your mom's a saprling migration. Wow, Case. That's rude. God, you don't live in Seattle for a year and all of a sudden your friends are like, your mom's a saprling migration. Your mom took part in the Great Sapperling Migration of 27, 2007. Got him. Got him back. Two back. Two got him's. What? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Trying Michael. Trying to go through colors here? No, not at all. It's either Stronghold or Grow from the Ashes. I thought I three think... colors was like your favorite thing to do. Actually, four color or five color is my favorite thing to do. Hence why I took the girl from the ashes, because let's just splash things. Yes, that was not the Gen Den version, clearly. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. That's what I think of when I think of John Denver. That's why I was like, did John Denver do also do this West Virginia song? Because I'm like, that's a lot of, that's a lot of John Denver talking about different places. I like Dark Bargle. Talking about places. I, I probably like it more than Joy or Smiller, but I'm not sure. Dark Bargle? That's what I said. I thought it was Bargain. Are you serious? How many streams have you missed, man? This is called Dark Bargle. You Dark Bargle. Uh -huh. Say, look, Dark Bargle. Look at it. I don't know which one it is. I like Bargle better than the bird. I think it's more relevant more often. Well. Wow. Jousting lance is actually fine. You like that dark bargle? I'm staying corrected. I'm going to take this memorial to folly just because it lets us get back our slime foot, which is pretty good. We could probably get another Crossan Crossan life man. Red might be open. Oh, red might be open, but it's a little too red late for be us. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at that. Just sounding like you say him. Sounding like... Why is there like, no art on that card? Because it's a... I don't know, man. It's a feature. Oh, it's a feature, all right. Michael B. Take me home. To Michael B. That's his home. None of this song makes any sense. No, it's not good. Michael B., yeah. Nothing is rat colony. It's unwind 100% for the five. 
This is this is what you just did. How good's Rock Colony? And then you never said anything else after no, that. No, I said I said what about Rat Colony? Oh. Huh. But I did do this. Yeah, you did. I watched it. Sometimes you gotta play with your mustache. No, you never do. Michael B. That's his name. He's a dude. On the stream. Well, I guess I will sit in my office and watch the rest of the drafting portion of this. Well, hey man, no one's forcing you, you know? Do it get open up your own little your little mobile telephone and you can just watch it on there as you leave the building. You know? That's what you got sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. That is a late champion of the flame. I'll take you, just in case we No, there's no reason really. I just figured I'd Are we looking for my cars, man? Yeah. It's a sideboard and a deck. You should open a car and it's pretty good and limited, and since it's just for a generic man, you can play it. Mataholic Matal Matt Hollick, I agree with you, buddy. You are correct. I believe in what you're saying. Take Matt home. The Spider Man ain't looking too good. Which one? He's getting ripped right in half. Right? That's what the that's what the one I just got is based off of. Oh. So go here. This one. Yeah, never gonna be able to get there. Oh, click on that. Don't care about you. I'll grab you. <sighs> yeah, I feel like we're. I mean, I am, that's not it. That's cool. <laughs> well, that's cool. I'm just gonna take this sapperling spore swarm that makes that's good for our deck. Send duders. Country Mike. But would you take a Karn or a foil to fairy? Hmm. Foil to fairy. It's probably worth significantly more. And I'll just Value splash. all that matters to you? When I'm in a, like a regular intermediate draft, heck yeah it is. Heck Fair. yeah it is, brah. Brah. Foil Teferi is like, let's find, let's look, let's look at the, the Foil Teferi price. Oh, there's another Sapo. Oh, Eviscerate though is probably better here. Yeah, we'll Eviscerate. Oh, look, I was right on it. Wow. Wait, this is the whole set. Moons. No, that's the full set. That's the full set. Oh, it's only 32. It's not that much more. That's funny. Huh. Wow, Teferi is more than Karn now on Moto. That's fuck. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Mm. That's hilarious. I'm going to take this Thorn Elemental. Otherwise known as Thorny. Thorny Borny? I know you didn't open a Karn, but I want a free little plant the other night at a raffle, so, you know. <laughs> Jesus. God, I'm so proud that we're friends. I'm just going to take this Pierce the Sky because I think it's better than Woodland Cemetery. Even though I would not mind having a Woodland Cemetery. I don't care. I, don't, I what, would not mind if I had a Woodland Cemetery. A Woodland. Excuse me. While I eat these raisins. Also known as old grapes. <laughs> hey man, I got some old grapes? I do. Oh, Elfheim Druid, that's legit. It also doesn't have Defender, despite having zero power, so we could just put this Lance or this Sword on it and get there. Kermit the Frog, I did see Solo. No spoilers in the chat, though. A lot of people didn't like that movie. I liked it a lot. I thought it was great. I thought it was pretty fun. It was a, it was a nice, fun romp through space. I knew you were going to say romp. I was like, he's going to say fun romp. Here we go. Yeah, I thought it was great. So I actually went in there with low to very like to medium expectations because I just didn't know what to expect and I, I there wasn't much hype around it. Like there was a lot of hype around every other Star Wars movie. So I went in there with like kind of middle of the road expectations. And it was like this is great. This movie was fantastic. I liked the characters. I liked the story. It was fun. I liked Chewbacca. Cross Android or fungal infection? I think it's cross Android. Oh, fungal all day. Would you? 
Yeah. So because you're because your toe fungus? I don't have any toe fungus, man. I keep my toes clean. It's weird that you looked away when you said it, though, because that's kind of suspicious, isn't it? You're like, I don't have any toe fungus, and then you just look away. It's very weird. That's just because of my random head movement of disability. Your I random didn't bring it up. Your random head movement of disability. Something like that. Okay. Okay. I would also take toe fungus infection. Well, Case, you're in luck, buddy. Have I got news for you? How clean is your toe knife? Toe knife? Yeah. What's a toe knife? Yeah, that's what you clean your toes with. I use soap and water. I try to avoid knives. And water. Soap, soap, (laughs) and water. (laughs) Oh, that was way funnier than it should have been. Have you seen the Mike Tongue gif? Talk about it. I have, actually. Believe it or not, I have seen that gif that I set up myself in my stream. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Wow. That's a lot of artifacts. If we get well, a the wall, man, he's indestructible. Man, our Karn's gonna be real good when we open it because of all these artifacts. So he's gonna they're gonna he's gonna make really big constructs. Oh, a cliff top retreat. <laughs> What's that worth? Like what, twelve cents? Oh uh, wow, that's I that's almost generous, I would imagine. Oh, twenty nine centerinos. Hmm. Woo! Country Grun, take me home. Fun fact, that's not Mike's tongue in the gif? What is it then? Dude, if that's not your tongue, I don't know what's going on, man. I'm going to take this Line of War Elves. Oh, Settle the Score is better, though. I always get Settle the Score and Final Parting confused because they look very similar. I hope that final parting comes back so I can show now you guys. Now when you pass the car and you can put two loyalty counters on it. I know. It's going to be great. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> soap and water. Soap, soap, and water. Our deck looks really good, though. I mean, despite the fact that we opened garbage. You opened a slime foot, Frank. That's not garbage. He is a very useful gentleman. Migration. I think it's migration, right? Yeah. You don't want this Hinterland Harbor? No. You don't want this Gift of Growth? No, it's 100% migration. Hey, Especially Mike, go with watch It's Always Sunny. I would, but they took it off Netflix. Yeah, we were actually watching it on Netflix. We were in the middle of watching it, and then they took it off Netflix. So. I think it's on Hulu still, but... How can it be on up. Hulu and Netflix at the same time? That's weird. It feels like only one of those uh, should have the right to it, right? Do you like Jim Garage? I don't even know what that is. Jim Gaffigan. Oh, yeah. Okay. Jim Garage. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I like Jim Gaffigan. Is someone breaking down your door? No, I was just shaking my raisins. <laughs> I was just shaking my raisins. Which is not a euphemism, believe it or not. That definitely sounds like one. You guys ever shake your raisins? Oh, wow. That's a late chain whirler. I'm probably taking that because I'm not playing anything else in this pack. Probably taking that because I'm not playing anything else in this pack. That was good. You're clearly a rapper. No off- no, 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 issues here, officer. Just shaking my raisins. They call me a little Jugus. What do you think about Fallout 76? Kotaku suggests it's probably online survival with RPG elements like Daisy or Rust. I, I, I'm I, excited for it, and I'll play it. How do people know that, though? Yeah, they have no idea. <laughs> They're just guessing. I'm going to take Sylvan Awakening, because that could be very good. Our deck seems good. Shake the raisins. Shake, shake the raisins. Shake, shake, raisins, raisins, shake the raisins. Wow. I'll take Invoke. I think I don't think we need another guy. We have 10 creatures plus two migrations and a Spore Swarm and a Sylvan. So that's like 14 guys. Um, And if we don't get any Broken Bonds, I'd rather just have one effect like this. Especially with Grow from the Ashes. Or, alternatively, we can just be white and play this Pegasus. Because it's pretty good with these guys. <clears throat> Pegasus? Yes, yeah, uh, Pegasus Corsair. 
<laughs> Still pretty good. And a sha na 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 na. The PUBG stream attorney is starting. And Frank is alive. What a time to be alive. What a time to be watching Twitch. Hey, Mike, I'm hungry. What should I eat? Hmm. That just makes me think of what I should eat. Yeah, I'm going to take the Shauna here. That just makes me think of what I should eat. Wow. Yeah, see, look. They're both, like, dark cards with, like, purple Liliana with pink auras around her. And they both have double black in their casting cost. There's a lot of similarities like the there. the same card. You should eat some delicious Cocoa Pebbles. Why would you suggest that? Why not? That's just very random. Meatball sub with fries? Sounds pretty good. You're a meatball sub with fries, you stupid dummy. Wow. 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 Meatball, when Italian restaurants give you fries, I'm always suspicious. I'm like, why are you dipping into the fries here? I like fries, though. They're good. No one said they didn't like fries. It's just, we're talking about how it's odd for an Italian restaurant to serve them with their Italian food. Usually they just give you a sandwich so big you don't need fries. Like, if I went to Italian Mia and they were like, here's a, here's a side of fries, I'd be like, what are you doing? No, they just give you a side of pasta. <laughs> well, that's with an entree, yes. K Flicks, thank you so much for the Franker's bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. Man. I really want some Italian Mia now. Well, too bad. Oh, it's Spencer Carlson. How lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Why don't you go get some? It's a long trip. So? Guess you don't want it that badly. Fries are basically really tiny breadsticks, right? Well, I mean, if your, your breadsticks are potato based. I recorded that thing, but it sounds bad? Why? Can't you improve it in like a studio? Can't you go into your dad's studio and just just fix it up? Breadsticks aren't a thing in real Italian restaurants. That's true. I recorded it on my phone. Okay. Well, that makes sense at least. Oh, this guy was in our main deck? Oh, gross. I made a mistake. You don't like that guy? No, he's... Actually, with this hand, I actually kind of do. Was your dad like, hey, you're leaving? All right, I can get rid of the studio, I guess. <sighs> boop, boop. Pizza fact. Italians consider the dough to be the meal and the topping is the condiments. That's interesting. I mean, it makes sense, though. I can't, like, hearing that, it doesn't surprise me. I'm not like, really? Wow. You know, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I can get behind that. All right, Lands, that's pretty good. I appreciate you. I'm tempted to just block here. Bald eagles cry with pride when you have a pizza with a side of pot sticks? Stickers? Huh. That's interesting. I don't know if they do that. I don't know what restaurant you could get a pizza and a side of pot stickers from. Disrepair. <laughs> Maybe he just let it go. He just let it. He just let himself go in that old studio. What'd you say to me? I said I don't know what restaurant you could go to and get a pizza with a side of pot stickers. All of them. No, definitely not. All of them, Michael. This is like a ramp spell every turn. Grun. Fungal. Oh, that's actually very, very okay. I'm going to do this now because you're green-white so you could have a million tricks. And I ain't feeling like... I ain't, I ain't all about them tricks. That was a good deal. Italian restaurants, you can get pizza, pot stickers, and fries. Yeah, I, that wouldn't surprise me if an Italian restaurant... If a Seattle restaurant had that because... They don't really know how Italian works. Someone drew a penis on the bathroom stall at work. I don't know who it did it, but it was, but it was funny until my wife saw it and I got and got pissed. Oh, also I work from home. Wow. 
Look at all my sappy boys. Sappy boys. Sappy boys. Oh, I see. We both have sappy boys. Tomatoes are the richest source of lycopene, which is important for the health of the prostate gland in men. That's good, because I eat lots of tomatoes. In various forms. What? Really? This is interesting. Because I'm just going to kill it. Ugly Dishes on Netflix, best documentary. Oh, I will. Should I watch more than the first episode? Because... I don't just want to watch one. Netflix episodes are like Lay's potato chips. That guy died. Put him in the garbage. This is where we get get aggressive. One. Two. Three. Oh, if they charge. I'll cry. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. You doing right over there? I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know anything you're doing means. It means I'm doing just fine. Oh, how would I have known that? I must say I missed the old Miso Toots modern video days. So many inspiring bad lists. Well, you know what they say. I don't know what they say. I just thought you you might. Ant oregano has four times the antioxidants of blueberries. Oh my god, what is going on here? That card is just miserable. Land. I don't even want that right now because none of these guys are worth it. They're not worth it. You're not worth it. Dang. God, it. It's messed up, man. Was it, though? Yeah. Or was it deserved? No, it was messed up. Okay, that's fair. I'm just going to get a counter. I'll buy a little unicorn. Little, little unicorn. Fact, mozzarella cheese is delicious. That's, That's true. true. That's a true fact. Well, that guy's dead. Slimefoot. Hey. Universe is a simulation. Do 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 do. Get out of my life. Basil is used in folk medicine, usually in the form of tea for treatment of constipation, flatulence, stomach cramps, anxiety, and depression. Wow. Depression, I would have not have guessed. Considering that you are blue-green, you shouldn't have many answers to this unless you have ancient animus in hand, which will be really sad. I thought he was white-green. Hmm. Michael is correct. Show me that smile again. Show me that smile. Michael, show me that smile again. Wow. Rude. All right. Well, we're doing good here. Don't waste another minute on your crying. Mark B is ready to begin. Whoa, whoa. Oh, really? Perfect. As long as we have this kicker burner, killing your legendary creature, put it in the trash every day. This is all fine. We got 10 life in the queue. I'm drinking a beer that was made with an accompaniment of some herbs. It tastes like pizza beer. Well, that doesn't sound terrible. I was actually going to order some pizza tonight. That was tempting to me. Where from? I don't know. I don't know, Dad. Michael is an Eskimo. I don't know if that's true. 
Lives in a garbage can. Michael the garbage picker. Tacos were delicious last night. I thoroughly enjoyed them. Mike actually went, uh, he broke his own record and he ate ten, he ate nine tacos. I was impressed. What are you looking away for, man? Don't be ashamed. Embrace your taco eating nature. Oh, I'm not ashamed of that at all. <laughs> oh, I'm not ashamed. No shame whatsoever. I'll block. I'll block. Eat my little sappy boy. Always yield to that. I ain't gonna have no, uh... Oh, we could do, do, some, do some Hungry Howie's deep dish. That sounds alright. Well, that dude's annoying. But I guess we're gonna hope for a land so we can grun for a 10-10. Grun for a 10-10. Land, 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 land. That's actually fine, too. You got a song that is, man? <laughs> good talk, good talk. It's the Rude Boy Sandstorm. Yeah. They have no profitable tax here, I don't think. Like you do. Like you do. Well, at least we can get Grun down if we hit another land. Short sword. Grun down. Run down from a Grun down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, this is actually fine because we can go one, two, three, four, six for Grun. And then we can put a sword on him. If you liked him, then you should have put a sword on him. I didn't even know we had a Grun. That guy attacks for a lot. Everybody has a grunt if you believe, Michael. What up, Daddy Q? You can write again? Could you have not written before? That's sad. I'm so sorry about your writing perils. Oh, they did not want to attack us. I s Fashion was late to the party. If you liked it, then you should have put a grunt on it. Tap that guy down, huh? Show me that grunt again. Show me that grunt. <clears throat> Let me just block here. That seems bad. I'll just pass. He's yawning. He's Pass getting, make some saps. He's getting tired. He's been up for a few hours now. About about two. Less hey than man, two. I'm just yawning. I ain't tired. Well. Maybe. Yep, that's what we figured you'd do. Boom, 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 boom. Go to twelve here. And then we can make all the sappy boys we want. Mike, you were throwing up gang signs, bro? I didn't even know. You didn't even know you are making gang signs? Mm. Dang, dude. Wild, wild onslaught. JK, we don't have that in our deck. Hmm. Let me tap this guy. Like, we just don't win that race. We can just make guys here. Four, eight, nine, 
10. Attack with everything seems terrible. Trust me, the math works out. I don't think, I don't know if that's true. I feel like that's completely incorrect. Interesting, no attacks. Hmm. <clears throat> Don't waste another minute on your ground. I do like moving the sword just because it chumps, but I don't think it's... I do like the gain life again. I don't think they forgot. I think they just want... It. Like, they don't care if we attack with anything. I'm actually going to attack with this guy because this is a pretty fast clock. Sign time center, yes. The best is ready to begin. Attacking with both big dudes is bad. If they attack with a grun, they just block with Baloth Gorger and Mace Unicorn. So we get to trade a Baloth Gorger for a grun, which is really bad. It's not preferable. It's not preferable. It's not bad. These raisins are addictive, man. They're like little candies that are made of fruit. Grun does become swole when attacking, yes. Right, but only by himself. Like, if I can't attack with both. It only happens when he attacks alone. That's why he's called the Lonely King. No, don't do that. Oh, come on. Don't do that. You're making a mess. That's from Star Wars. It's from The Empire Strikes Back, specifically when Yoda is rummaging around through... <sighs> hey, that's pretty good. Sorry, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Matthew, we literally just had a whole conversation about Han Solo. About Solo. <laughs> like, we literally said a whole thing about it. Mm, smile again. Show me that smile. Oh, now you're going to tap this guy down. All right. Well, we'll wait. If you want to use your IC next turn, that's totally fine. This dude's seriously obnoxious against our deck. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, if they didn't have IC, it'd be one thing. It'd be a totally different game, but...
Sure, I'll finally block this guy. Uh, pinging them with tokens doesn't really do that much because they have Mesa Unicorn. So, like, for every one, like, we'll deal them one and they gain three. So they gain two, we gain one. That does not feel like a race we're going to be able to win. Five. So this is actually good for us because we can go land and then flash in a land and make a bunch of dudes. They don't like that guy anymore. But now you're out of, now you're out of dudes to chump block with here, so... <clears throat> I don't think we're in a stalemate, though, because they have 10 power on board that we can't really block profitably. Show me that might be again. Jousting, la ja actually jousting Javelin, jousting Lance would be really good right now because it makes any Sapperling able to block one of the Steel Leaf champions. Let's not debate Harrison Ford's best movie because that sounds like a nightmare. That sounds like a... An argument waiting to happen. Like when Michael and I fought over who was his real birth father. And then he found out it was me. Did I? It's <laughs> good. Like, when can I use this sound? Oh, I got it. The lan I don't think the lance is the best thing we can draw, but it's a good out here. The best is ready to begin. Sure. Block again. Oh, Civil Civil and Awakening would be great. That's that probably just wins the game for us. So that's two out of sixteen cards I can think of. Beans and cornbread, 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 beans and cornbread. Lots of beans and cornbread. This tongue is terrible. <laughs> oh, biscuits. Well, I guess we're doing that. Seems good. I can't imagine they went through this. Yeah, so we'll just cast this and attack. Mama's little baby loves beans and cornbread. Mom's little baby loves beans and cornbread. I think we're definitely boarding in Invoke and we're boarding in Gideon's uh, Gideon's Justice. Gideon's Light. By Gideon's Light. And then we're probably going to play this too. We take out Llanowar Scout. I, didn't, I forgot that was in our deck. And we're going to bring in two planes. And then we're going to bring in sha -na 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 -na, And we're going to bring in Invoke. We're going to bring in Gideon's Justice. This card's actually pretty good against them too. And we can cut one card for all these all these juicy bonuses. Partic Wander is pretty meh. Yeah, that seems good. I'm down to clown. Scout was amazing that game. You're right. Unfortunately, that is too bad. keep sparring butt struct I don't play this first I don't think it's going to make I'd rather just have this in play how do you feel about that man having it in play seems good I agree with you man Boy, I agree with you. There's our trump card. Those lands are really aggressive, man. Did you just make a bunch of slurping noises? I did. Hmm.
Mike, what was your favorite food growing up? Turtles. No, it's. Oh God. He no. Used to, he used to love them. My favorite food growing up, probably calzone. <laughs> so it's not weird, but my as my, a child growing up, your favorite food was calzone. Yeah. Oh, what up, Jace? All right, I guess we can just untap and. Oh, that would. Where were you last turn, you stupid dummy? Talk about your calzone love. Well, believe it or not, the cafeteria at my school made a pretty good calzone. Wow. 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 I would not expect a school cafeteria to make good calzones. Yeah, it was surprisingly good. They didn't have ricotta in them. What I got? So... I guess maybe they weren't technically calzones. I don't know how that works. I'll trade two Sapo boys for a Crossan Druid. That's a good deal. Michael's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Michael's little baby loves Michael baby. Shortening bread. Uh, I'll choose this one, and then I will not do that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? I have no idea. We had rubber cheese pizzas. Well, curious enough, the word calzone translates to pant leg from Italian to English. This is most likely because the original calzones of Italy were sold on the streets and intended for people to eat while walking from place to place. Yeah, I can get behind that. That makes sense. Oh, sick primordial worm, bro. I got old slimy boy. Unfortunately, I don't have double green here, so I can't really do much. I can equip you and play druid. That seems good. Turning the beat around. They just block here. That seems bad. I'd rather just block here. Keep this up. Of course, they're gonna they're gonna draw icy and play it. But I guess we have sapos to to block forever. I sent you a jar of pickled herring, Michael. You will never eat a calzone again after that. Um, I probably won't partake in the pickled herring, I'm going to be honest. I'll eat it. I'll make sure he eats it. I don't know how that has anything to do with calzone. We'll too. make him eat it on stream. That's not happening. I'll give you a dollar. You think a dollar was enough? Yeah. No. Oh, for crying out loud. Come on, dude. Oh, that's a fast clock. You think? It's literally two turn clock. Come on, eviscerate or another thing or a friggin' land. But we do have a blocker. Yeah, watch it's gonna it's gonna hit two of our things. All right, it didn't. It hit a bunch of irrelevant stuff. That's pretty good. Put this on you just in case they have something stupid. Oh, mama's little baby love shorten, shorten. Mama's little baby love shorten. All right. Well, I thought we were going to win this game because they were stuck on green and then they just play 7 6 plus Sarah on Sarah's wings. And it's. I guess we do have Sylvan Awakening next turn for more blocking goodness. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, 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 boom. But ideally, we're just going to draw Viscerate or settle the score and kill this idiot. Or even invoke. Like, we have multiple answers for this guy. Yeah, I don't care about those guys. I can dream about you. <laughs> Tacos were delicious. Also, we can memorial to folly back the Wind Grace Acolyte for another turn. I don't actually care about their life total. I think our deck is better. This card is just 
pretty obnoxious. They can't actually attack here. Unless they forget about the reach, which would be awesome. Do it. Forget about the reach. Their hesitation to attack seems like they didn't forget. You're correct. <gasps> oh! 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 This does kill a lot of our lands. No, they're indestructible. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness that gracious. Was terrible. Back in the game, boys. Don't care about sacking this now because we don't need this. Oh, what, yeah. 3 1. What do you eat on your tacos? Fantastic. What a time to be alive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 6 and 3. We are one away from casting both of those things. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, actually, we can go, we can go slime foot and still keep up. Um, Make a guy mana. Which is pretty strong. Or we can actually just play Thorn Elemental. They have one card. We're at eight. I feel like we're pretty safe. Wow. Primordial Worm and Sarah's Wings blocked by lands. And that actually wouldn't have worked if we didn't use Elfame Druid to keep up the fourth land to block. So everything's going well. Three, four, five, six, seven. What do you think, man? Thorn elemental or 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 slimy? We can't even cast thorn. Oh yeah, we can. I think it's thorn elemental. Let's get this game over with. They're at forty six. I mean, it's gonna take a while. It's true. I like climb boy. No, I like thorn elemental because like we're not gonna be able to keep making guys yet. Like it'll take us a few turns. You know what I mean? Like, this is good when we have nothing else to do, because then it lets us do things. So if we play this guy and make a guy, next time we're just going to play this guy anyway, so. I don't even feel like attacking is correct here. Then they attack back, we go block, block, we take two, but if they have any removal spell, if they draw, like, Icy, we're, it's not good for us. I have seen both Solo and Deadpool 2, yes. This is the third time that someone's asked me this. Is this for real? Are you serious right now? Well then, not only you have the card in your deck. So he's three bomb rares. Got it. Well, and on Sarah's wings is also pretty good. Would this have made a difference? One, two. We have five blockers instead of. Man, so so messed up. They still get to win this game after that horrible mistake. If we play this, we have another blocker. We'd have four blockers instead. We can go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We take eight. It's exactly. Oh, no. Well, yeah, it would have been exactly because we have. Yep. Cool. You have literally Sylvan Awakening in your deck, and you threw your friggin' Primordial Worm away with it. That's amazing to me. Also, Pierce the Sky is now coming in because they have on Sarah's Wings, so... That's amazing to me. I don't even have words for that. <laughs> never, never punished. Keep. Any land is good for us. Any land at all. I don't understand why you threw your guy into our into our lands when you literally have the same card in your deck, so you should probably know what it does, right? Land. We did it, boys. 
You doing okay, man? You're making some weird mouth noises. Just throwing up a little bit in my mouth. No big deal. That is a big deal, I think. <clears throat> Here comes Steel Leaf Champion, number one of two. That's me. Oh, just Icy Man player. Okay. Just old Ice Boy. All right. Well, these are all good draws, so. So the Pokemon Go clone of the Jurassic Park skin is available for download. I did not know that. Tap something down. Okay. Gideon's Reproach, maybe, is what you have? I'll avoid that if I can. Yeah, you can just make a little guy. Yeah, I'll just make a sappy boy. White Artifact Removal? For what? All I saw was Lance on our, our end. I mean, they shot, like, Lance Short Sword and... and um, the 4-4 four, four Guardians, but I don't think any of those are worthy of artifact removal. Alright, that's pretty good, actually. So now we just get to kill your guy, attack for a bunch. Everybody has fun. Oh, do we have something? Oh, well, you said he. So I would have said we. I said we boarded in white artifact room. Yeah, I was referring to you as, as a he. Gotcha. Gotcha. I get it. When you guys say he, it's like you're talking about me. It's like you're my parents talking about me in the same room, but like you're talking about me like I'm not in the room, which is weird. It's another worm? Oh. I see. Well, that's annoying. Well, now we have mana to equip and to... Uh... I guess we put it on you, and then we can fungal this, this idiot. Dom da dom 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 da dom da dom dom da dom da dom. My name is Michael B. Gotta educate some kids in eight hours. Daddy Q, have a good night, buddy. See you later. Bye. Ooh, no attack, no blocks. That's pretty good. Now we get to still make a dude. All right, everybody wins. A sappy boy with a lance is pretty funny. I agree with you. Getting real old. Mean to kill it, right? With what? Doesn't it have four toughness. What? So what are you? What are you suggesting? Oh, we don't have white. There you go. <laughs> ah, nailed it. Hmm, that is unfortunate. Agreed. I want to be your little baby, I want to be your man, I want to make some sappy boys, yeah, I'm going to make some sappy boys. Yeah, we're going to kill Poe with the infection, take it easy. Just take it easy. Sappy boy, 
Sabe boy. Sabe boy. It's my sappy boy. <sighs> I mean, we have time, but it's just really obnoxious because. Well, for obvious reasons. <laughs> I guess we can make multiple guys a turn, though, which is pretty good. Do they drop any of their bad cards? Which I know are in the deck. So five. They tap a three, three down. They have infinite life length. They gain f literally seven life here. There's no way we win this race. I also feel like we are not getting them Sylvan Awakening again. I agree with you. How I wish it was an instant, though. The card would be disgusting if it was an instant. Especially because it says... Well, it says until your next turn, so... It would still, like... It would only work on their turn, and then you untap, and your guys are fine again. If it said until the end of your turn, then you can do it on their turn, and then... All your guys would stay forever. Sure. No blocks. We get to make two guys a turn, which is not nothing, but like... They just keep drawing things. But your face says things are not currently great. Please, have more lifelink. Yeah, that's a problem. I just want to throw up in my mouth right now. You got it, tap that guy down. Tantrum, keep at it, buddy. The problem here is that once this goes to the graveyard, they get it back with the poet. Yep. And then they put it on this guy. And then they basically kill us. Game would be so much different if we had white mana. Yep. Yeah, killing the one one doesn't do anything right now. It's just a blank. We just gave them three extra life, but we, I mean, we trigger this guy, so I guess we gain a life. I don't even want to equip because I'd rather just have them attack with everybody and then we'll just double block and then we make another extra guy. Wow, who would have thought Tragic Poet would actually be problematic here? That's hilarious to me. Sure. 
I'm pretty convinced that if we if they have Ansara's wings on board, we have to get rid of this. So. Finally. Thank God. Thank God, him. <laughs> Jesus. You shall not pass. All right, now we have a game. We're just going to keep making guys here. We did not draft any Pump the Team spells, unfortunately. That's fine. We'll get him back. Why do we not make Spore? Because I want to get him back. Why we no make Spore? <laughs> Me, Michael. Okay, that's actually very good. Now we're in this to win this, my friends. Tap something down. Oh, actually, we don't have white. Never mind. I'm still dumb. I got real excited about that, and then I realized we don't have any white mana, so. Cool. White mana. That's kind of like white mana. I'll take you because you're actually very good if we get that pretty sweet white mana. I guess we're almost at a point where we can alpha. <laughs> We have four minutes to win this game, which is kind of surprising. I didn't think this game would have taken this long, but here we are. Whatever. Don't care. I hit, F I hit six. Let's go. Yeah, that's irrelevant. Oh boy. Three white cards in hand. Sure. They actually have not that much more time than us, so. And we should be on even footing after this. 33 to 30. Real close. Mother of God, why are you still giving me lands that aren't white? All right. So we have several turns. But once we alpha, like, we get a bunch of... Things. The problem is this life, this life link right here. Yeah. I mean, if we can draw any white mana, like of our two, like it's not even close.
cool. Alright, I just hope I don't die here, I guess. Uh, it doesn't become a 28-28, it becomes a 28-5. Why does everyone think it pumps its toughness, too? That's weird. You gotta be kidding me. Do we just alpha here? I think we have to, right? We can actually alpha and leave a couple guys back. Leave a couple planty boys. Talking away. I don't know what. So they gain seven, so they're basically at 35. And then they have four other blocks. One, two, three. They have they go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they take 10, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's not going to do it. But then they make. Actually, it might do it because of all the triggers. But none of these guys are going to die. Maybe they'll die. Well, I definitely want to keep more than one of these up, but I don't know what happened, so... This also was not supposed to go in the red zone. Jesus. If he blocks with a 20 at 5, his life total goes to 5, so, I mean, like... Like, he's not gaining life there. He gains 5 life always. It never He never gains more than 5. Slime foot should not have attacked. That was a misclick. So, hopefully you guys catch that before 13 other people say it in the chat. They might not realize that they don't die here, though. So, if we get to trade their board for, like, a bunch of other stuff on our board, it's pretty good. However, if they make this a 28-5 and then they gain 28 and then they gain another 28 from it, it's pretty bad. Slime foot dying is insane. Like, that was not intentional we're just trying to rush because we have two minutes and they have one but then again we should have enough blockers here that we survive the problem being that we no longer have slime foot to trigger these guys this was yeah we, we have one reach creature right here but most of their guys are dying which is pretty good Yeah, I actually think we're just going to win on time here because their Evra, we can, we can block their Evra for, ev for Evra, so to speak. They put it on the bird. I mean, we do have to we do have to draw a removal spell here. Or not a removal spell, but a way, a way to survive because of the uh, the bird. Oh, no, they just tap our land and kill us, right? Yeah, we actually should have kept two guys untapped. I meant to keep two guys untapped. Dang. Yeah, that's so stupid. This whole game is idiotic. I don't want the elf in the deck. You can please leave. Um, Yeah, that whole match was idiotic. Like, their deck was... Pretty surprisingly ridiculous. And also... Um, we should have attacked with one less slime foot and one less land. Like, that was the, uh, totally the point, but I was trying to rush because of the time, so. Uh, ultimately, my fault. I can't blame anyone, but I'm pretty sure we win that game 1,000% of the time if we keep two cards back. So, yeah, pretty dumb. It happens. Yeah, definitely happens. You definitely waste your money on Magic Online and don't get it back. Because you clicked a button incorrectly. You are correct. That happens. <laughs> 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 
Uh, it's not going to be in this mana base because this is not the deck. We boarded in two planes in the last deck. Uh, they didn't tap. They already tapped a guy. They tapped the knight down. We didn't have to. They don't have. They don't have two ICs out. They tapped the knight down on their turn, so they didn't have a tap on their turn. <laughs> Jesus. I don't pay for this kind of gameplay. Sure. Such hits as opponents swinging their eight, their nine eight into four untapped two two lands with reach, thanks to a card that they already have in their own deck, so they know about it. That was funny. Don't really know how that works, but you know, play poorly, get rewarded. Play classic. poorly, get rewarded. The classic. Are really, just gonna show up on turn three every game. Banoodles and baby turtles do hold all the luck. So lucky, lucky, lucky. That game is also mind numbing. I feel stupider. Dumber for having played it. Hey man, you ever had raisins before? Yeah. They're pretty good. They're okay. Wow. What about golden raisins? Now you're talking next Golden week. raisins. <laughs> that was pretty good. Whoa, golden raisins. We have two planes and a grow from grow from the ashes. Like this should be more than enough when we have uh like dark bargain in our deck, like I like this where they have one card in hand. That's pretty good. Spencer, are you still smoking, man? What's the deal? If all their cards are Kelden Raiders, I guess that's pretty good. It's also pretty good, but we're just going to migrate here. My gravy. My gravy? Mm -hmm. What about your gravy? It's mine. Don't you touch it. I would never touch your gravy. That sounds a little too provocative for me, buddy. Slime foot. I don't really understand it, but I accept it. So... Well, that was incredible. Oh, uh, Defuel, can you please use the correct form of your in a sentence so that I uh, understand what you're saying? Somebody touch my spaghetti. Wow. That's like the rudest thing you could possibly do to a man. Except when they have Memorial to Folly out, and then you just... Wow, you apostrophe are Nice. <laughs> oh, fantastic. This cost three and a tap. One, two, three and a tap. And then we have enough to play him and keep up the ye, f ye old fungeals. Somebody touch. Touch a must bug get. No, we don't. We don't have enough mana to do that. Whoops. We don't have enough black sources to do that, I should say. Isn't stupider a word, though? No, dumber is a word. Meat fat sounds disgusting. Like, if someone was like, hey, you want to eat some meat fat? I'd be like, God, no. That sounds terrible. 
Do I just trade three of these for this guy and you also lose all these things? That's pretty good. That was a good trade. Oh, you just get them back. I see. I understand what your game is. The best part about Slimefoot is that he makes you feel not bad for playing all your lands. Touch of my spaghetti. Michael Barbomble Boo. Gonna da da da. Skip it, 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 and didn't do it, 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 didn't do. $500 more rent. Yeah, but I also split my, my rent with two other people, so. Meat fat sounds just, oh god, it just sounds gross. Yeah, this is fine. I don't care. I'm not going to waste fungal infection to prevent you from blocking with the sapperling. Yield, sappy boy. What is meat fat? I mean, does that sound appetizing to you? Like, if someone's like, hey, you want to put a little meat fat on there? No. I'd be like, oh god. I mean, I might eat a little bit of fat in my steak, but I don't know if I'd put it over potatoes. Right, but you're not like, it's not deliberate, right? You're not like, can I get more fat in this? All right. It just happens to be there. Wow. Making a doot doot. Little doot 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 doot. Scooby doot 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 doot. This is an aggressive block with my slime foot, but all out. I don't think they have anything here. I think this is just like a desperation alpha because they feel the pressure of the feet. Oh, yeah, the vicious offering. <laughs> I guess my bad. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That almost kills you. You need to add fat to a rabbit. There's no single... Um, well, I don't really eat rabbit, so... Fat webbing? <laughs> I was just going to say that. I'm like, Ooh. oh, you wrap it in a little fat webbing. Oh, that makes sense. That's an absolutely disgusting thing to do. Just the, just the word fat webbing. It's very weird. As someone who doesn't eat a lot of meat, it's always funny how frequently people decide to talk about eating meat. In my chat. That's very strange to me. Cooking your fat is a little different, but like just putting fat on things. Huh. No blocks. Okay. Well, this is cool. <sighs> I don't understand what's happening here. If they want a Vicious Hunger, Vicious Offering, and Knight of Malice, this guy, that's totally fine. Lilies and tarms are tough. Spencer, when are you going to make it big? And then I can be your tour manager. I'm waiting for it, buddy. You can be the next Connor Oberst. You know who Connor Oberst is? Wow. Google it for me. Perhaps you've heard of a little band called Bright Eyes. No. Wow.
Look at this emo nerd. That's rude, man. Mike is such a nerd. Hey, you're the nerd for knowing it. That doesn't make me a nerd. That makes you a nerd. It makes me hip. It's no, you're the dumb. nerd. Yeah, you're just a nerd eating your nerd raisins. <laughs> oh, hold on. I gotta break up my block of raisins. I'm trying to get the block out so I can just show the fucking... Look at this. Look at the size of this. Look at this raisin brick. Oh, God. They're gonna break apart like ants, though. Like, like if it's an ants that are all collected together. Block. I mean, eventually we're going to draw something good, right? That was good. I think that counts. I don't know what, what to say. I say it anyway. Oh, man, we're going to have some disagreements on Bright Eyes, unfortunately. I am not a Bright Eyes fan. I'm not a Connor. Oh, he hit three lands. The gas is so real. I'm not a Cobra Connor Oberst fan, to be fair. I think he's incredibly whiny. Yeah, you know so much about him. I know that he exists in, in one of the bands he was in. I know. That's a lot. That's way more than I know. Knowing about. someone exists is a lot, Michael Bartholomew says. Yeah. Wow. I bet you know a ton of people that, that exist that I don't, so. Yeah, name one. You can't because you don't know. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I guess you did. I guess you got me there. What can you do? Blue white mill and draft seal is pretty stu is there's a blue white mill deck in this format? I've never heard of such a thing. Spencer, have a good night, buddy. Um let's not forget about our, our luckies. Lucky, lucky, luckies. Do I just play Sapperling Migration to block this idiot? Maybe. Probably Talking not anymore. Yeah, it's probably worse now. I don't know what. Sapperlings are saying... Why is that stuck in your head? I hate you. Um, because they did a, um... What was that from? There was a cover somewhere and I forgot what it was. I think it was actually on... I think I just heard it on Spotify, and I was like, this is very good. Maybe not. Was it on the Americans? Man, I don't know. I'm worried about this stupid idiot now, because this guy's real problematic. That's what it was! It was in Deadpool 2! At oh, the end yeah. of Deadpool 2, there was a Take On Me cover, and it was very good. And I was like, wow, this is fantastic. And it's been in my head ever since. That's what it was. Is that a spoiler? I think we're just dead this game. Which is really weird because... Because, come on. We take seven here, we go to six, and we can play our stupid Wind Grace Acolyte. This will probably get, like, Mitch's Offering or something, and we'll die. A Mitch's Offering? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Play about 30 seconds of this, guys. I think you can wait till the singing starts. No, they'll catch the music. Talking away. Oh, I don't know what I'm to say. I'll say it anyway. It's so good. It's a very good track. I'm a fan. I'm a fan, I am. Alright, we're gonna double block here. And if you want a vicious offering, it's fine. Because I'd rather not... Die. I switched to a PC called one so I sort of just have access sort of just have to access 
sort of just to oh just to have access to mcg on my mac was old but ever since then my internet has been really spotty that is not typical of pcs no we don't just exist with spotty internet for the past 25 years <laughs> hue 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 um all right so i think we survived but i guess we just play this idiot hope we hit three lands and on a slime foot this or it's rough but Next time we got double blocks, so that's cool. You can't hurt me anymore, Stronghold Confessor. That's a good dude. That's a good dude. You just double block here. Have I seen Deadpool 2? Uh, I would imagine I've seen it, considering I literally just referenced an obscure song that was on the soundtrack. <laughs> At the end of the movie. <laughs> that would be that would be my guess. Cool. I'm having a good time in this game. That would be good if we had two more lands, but we don't. So I'll actually just play this guy and this guy. And hope I don't die, I guess. Here we go. Everybody wins. I've never heard of someone who hits up the YouTubes for highlights of a movie. I've never heard of that person. I mean, I'll assume they exist, but I don't know who they are. I don't know you. Block, block. Those people seem very strange to me. This is a gamble. But no gamble, no future. I'm your gamble man, your gamble man. Turn me on, I'm your gamble man. Well, I don't want to give you either of these, which is unfortunate, because one of them is going to the graveyard. I think we're dead here. It doesn't feel good. We gotta take two from this guy. Put you on there. Play this thing. Discard. A thing. Pretty sure I don't know how to deal with a grun once they get a grun. I have never heard of these these people. Yep, going to one here and assuming you'll just have a way to kill us. That's my assumption. Did you see the arena announcements? I did not. Are they any good? Oh boy. All right, we're just going to go to the next game. This is too much. I think the white should just be in the deck. Blood Tallow Candle sucks. Invoke is good. You suck, Blood Tallow Candle. I'm going to take out you, and I'm going to take out you. And I'm just going to put in two, because I think it's still fine. When we have... I mean, two cards and two white... Two cards and two planes with growth from the ashes seems fine. Here he goes, yawning again. He gets real tired when it's... When it's 6 p.m. Yeah, man, i got to go to bed soon. Anyway, wake up at 3.30. Life's hard. I think it's pretty easy. Well, you really make it. You really make it seem hard. That's what she said. Hi, yo. You didn't like that one. Okay. It's all right. Kalish and Aethervolt are coming on June seventh. So right before they rotate in standard. <laughs> Seems like a weird choice. Look at this. I'm keeping this hand with this divest. You can totally, that's what she said, your own jokes. Get out of here with that. Uh, Chronicler, I don't care about. Overseer, I don't care about. Raider, I don't care about. I don't care about any of your cards. They all suck. 
All your cards yeah. suck. Yeah, they killed us last game. Chronicler is actually the scariest one because it lets you get back Vicious Offering again. All these other guys are super slow. Look at Just that. like you. Wow. That's rude, man. Got him. He did. He got him. High impact cards? What does that mean? Is that like just what you're is that just what you called it there? So we played this, and then we know four of the five cards in your hand. Okay. Yeah, that's the whole point. Like if I go if I say something and then Oh, they didn't draw any land, that's great. And then someone says that's what she said. Um I need to be able to beat them to the that's what she said. So that I'm aware of it. That was a good draw. That's also a pretty good draw. Do we just pass here? I don't think we need a ramp here. I think we can wait. Oh, this is exactly what we're hoping for. <laughs> I was hoping he wouldn't equip <laughs> so we could do this jobby. That was a good deal. The bet you might say it was the best of Trade deals. Trade for one third of your card. Seems good. So we need to have offering in hand. We can play around that. We have you have these three idiots. We can deal with all of them. Talking away. I don't know what I'm I'm just gonna grow here because next turn. Uh, I guess we can just do with one planes. Next turn it lets us cast this guy and make guys. Make a guy. Did you just take four here? Yeah, that's fine. I like this memorial with our uh, with our little slime feet. Slime foot, slime fitty fitty feet foot. Wow, fitty fitty feet foot. Just incredible. Mom's got the slime foot. <laughs> Dude, I told you not to tell anybody about that. My bad. Nah, that's cool, man. I forgive you. Because your mom gave it to her. Hmm. Sure. Seven mana, huh? Seven. I think we just play this, and if we draw another guy, we get to... Uh, Make two dudes or Dark Bargle or Eviscerate and make a dude. Which is just better mana usage. Mana usage. Oh, I'm a big old Pardic Wanderer. Michael, tell me about your Pardic Wanderer. He's a good boy. Is he? Yeah. He's a good boy. Talking away. I don't know. We actually should have put the sword on there because then, like, if they double block here, it still kills both of them. But we got away. We got, we got, we got away. I really don't want to, uh... They have Vicious Offering, so I kind of like being able to just kill one of these guys now when we can. But I also like just being able to make a dude. This guy seems obnoxious, though. I'm also pretty sure we're at a point where Sylvan Awakening could just win us the game, so... <clears throat>
Hey, man. How your slime feet doing? Pretty good. Prove it. I keep them in a cage. You keep your slime feet in a cage? Mm-hmm. Feed them little jelly beans. You, you Okay, so let's be clear. You keep your slime feet in a cage, mm-hmm. and you feed them little jelly beans. Yeah, well, I mean, what do you do with your slime feet? I guess I don't treat them as well as you do. Clearly. Clearly. Oh, we just win the match. Cool. Magic is a game. Magic is a game. With game time fun days. Okay. (laughs) All right. That's about enough. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Said Michael B. I'm going to bring in Shauna. I'm going to bring in... uh, Bonna. Tana. Shauna, Bonna, and Tana. They're all coming into the deck. Don't forget Lana. Oh, yeah. Who can forget Lana? All right. Last round. Treat the feds like I treat my slime feet. Feed them gel. Oh, (laughs) that's not... (laughs) Oh, that's not the quote at all. You know what that's from? The Departed. Don't be stupid, Michael. I'm sad. I know. I know. We are currently 1-1 in this Amonkhet Ravnica draft. So. Do we keep this hand? Probably. Okay. Kagane, two months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Kagane? I really have something Kagane from that sub. (laughs) Uh, Shut up. Would you do cast drafts if they added? Yeah, of course I would. I'll do any draft they add to MTGO. Except Kamigawa. (laughs) <laughs> Touche. That's topical because we, because I said, you know. Oh, that's such a good draw, dude. Also, no homelands. I love doing chaos drafts. No homelands. You see what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> I see exactly what you did there. Yeah, that was pretty good. I thought it was uh, it was a funny time to be alive. That was making sense. Look at all these. Look at these. Look at this time to be alive here with these colors, bro. Joke's on you. Tetsuko Umizawa is no... He's no wizard. He's no wizard, Hattie. Did they put you on the play? Uh, No, I chose to play first, so... Na- nobody puts baby on the play, okay? I won't block you because... Well, you have wizard powers. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. This is a big old night. Night. It was a big old night. It was a big old day. It was a big old day. Mm-hmm. You're a big old day. It was a big old night. It was a Mac B day. What are they, Divination? That's pretty good. Oh, Memorial to Unity? That card's not going to be... Isn't it Clegane? It's not Clegane, right? Yeah, it's House Clegane, right? It's Gregor Clegane, not Clegane. Did you... Don't tell me you based that off of the, the Game of Thrones... The game of the, the Game of Thrones house, but then you misspelled it because that's going to be real sad. I don't want to do anything here except for. I 
Oh, you didn't even get it. Okay, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on. I don't know what's happening right now. Did you just cast this guy? Probably. I don't foresee us gaining 10 with this guy. Not with that, dude. Not with that attitude? Mm hmm. Why are you the way that you are? Because why not? Touche. Ayo. Ayo. My name is Michael and I live in a garbage can. So I might call it a garbage can. What would you call I it? I call it home. <laughs> what? Nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. Oh yeah, this is for the nine point eight graded one. That seems like it's a little overpriced. Yeah, you ain't wrong. Michael Maiden Chicken Sunday. Michael Maiden Chicken Sunday. Kagain from Baldur's Gate. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, I can get behind that. Oh, you're just going to bounce my elf, huh? That's cool. That's real mature. Spoiler alert, it's immature. Give me a land so I can equip and play my knight. That's all I want. I don't ask for much. That's not it, but, I mean, I guess it lets me cast the knight anyway. Doesn't let me advance my board, me, me Borg state. Michael lives in a Borg state. You guys are still going? Yeah, it hasn't been that long. I've only been alive for five hours. Live for five, as the kids say. God, that is a long time. That's a good amount. It feels like a lifetime. Michael. Sometimes I just like to say your name in a sing-song voice. How does that make you feel? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <clears throat> it's average. Does the B in Michael B stand for Borg? Sure. I actually think it stands for Boring. Wow. I, th up, I think the B stands for narcoleptic. Yeah, but narcoleptic. The silent B. Okay. Funny. Funny joke. They have four cards. We have four cards. What Fair. could go wrong? They have an extra land and an extra creature, though. Five hours of puns and wordplay slathered over digital nerd cards and niche fame. Yeah, that's uh, that's how we like to spread it out here. Here we go. Okay, that guy I don't care about. What are you doing, man? I was straightening him up. Why don't you straighten your life up instead? Never. Never. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everybody knows how it works, man. I'll never straighten my life up. Well, we're definitely exiling this because two damage a turn is pretty, uh, pretty OP, as the kids say. Get in there. Uh, you don't have to play mono white if you get two Gideon's, Re Gideon's Reproach and three Blessed Light. You just add those to your to your deck, and you play those with the other color that you play. It's pretty easy. Presumably, you're going to shoot me at the end of the turn. 
Define old media. I ate so much pasta today that my any became an Audi. That's a solid problem in, wow. in today's times. Today's trying times. Are they not going to activate their... They have to. So I take two, but... Floppy, you know, like floppy disks. Yeah, man, I love old media. Sometimes I just can't... I can't get my 2.8 megabytes on there fast enough. It's a big boy. How much can we donate to have Mike eat this banana peel? What do you guys think? It's starting to get that, that really bad banana peel smell to it, too. Nah, it just smells like banana. It definitely does not. It smells like banana releasing toxins. Banana releasing toxins. Do you consider the radio old media? Because the radio's not playing old media. The radio's playing uh, new media. I wouldn't consider the radio old media. Like... Old timey radio broadcasts that are no longer being played. That's I would consider that old media. So both these guys are unblockable. So you're, yeah, all right. Let's not attack with the one guy that I'm gonna block. Ready for the champions betrayers draft? Negative, negatorio. Boom boom. Mike, pull your banana at home and not when several people are watching. He's right. Don't tell me what to do. I'll sit, 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 sit on you. Will you? Yeah. I hope you don't have a syncopate. You didn't have a syncopate. Ba -ba -ba Boom. Oh, wow, I milled Dark Bargain, Thorn Elemental, and a Grun. That was a lot of cards that were reasonable. That's a lot of schmierds. One, two, three, one. If we draw land, we can just win next turn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, we go to one shy. Actually, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Yeah, we're two. Yeah, we're two lands away. Can't Mike just micro the peel and smoke it? That's what the cool kids are doing these days. You know, man. Probably he probably could. He probably could smoke his peel. Smoke a peel. Smoke a peel. Unfortunately, Mike has no real smoke appeal. So that's wow. How dare you? I have the largest smoke appeal in this century. All right, Cobalt. We're gonna take a look at this draft. Oh, the old, uh, that's pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah, why aren't you playing the Zahid? I don't care. Like, you, you just play more play more blue and play the Zahid. Like, it, the card's a bomb. And you have Arcane Flight, so you just play Snapper, too. Dub is pretty bad. I'm not a Dub fan, but that's just me. Yeah, like, I don't like Triumph of Gerard. I don't think that's very good. I would take that out, and I'd take two dubs out. I'd add Zahid, Snapper, and Blink of an Eye. And I would just be more, uh, more blue-white. Moron is right. You have no incentive to just be this white. Plus, also, all your white costs one, so you never need more than two planes and play at the same time. So, what's going on here? Nothing. Same thing as always. That's my two cents about that draft. You didn't equip this. Fascinating. I guess I'll just f attack for fascinating. three here. And assume you have like blink of an eye. So I can replay this guy. Alright. What you gonna do? Mike sits on you. It's, it's, it's right on your head. I'll choose this one, and will I bounce it? No. They have two cards in hand. Let's assume that they're not good. Okay, they didn't blink at the end of the turn, so... I don't know, that was weird. I assume they would have equipped Sorcerer's Wand if they were going to not do anything. Right? Okay, you're being weird. That's that's good. Welcome back, stretching Jersey. Stretching out my eye, man. You're stretching out your eye. Yeah. Mother of God. You can't, 
It's like I say, you can pick your friends, but you can't pick your friends' noses. I mean, you could. It should be really weird for okay. everybody involved. Appreciate oh, no. It. Okay, here we go. But yes, having the extra removal in the side of the as long as I take a reproach and one blessed light and got past the others with like five and four cards left. Yeah, that's not normal. Uh, I think invoke. I think main decking invoke is fine. I actually like it in this format. Wow. That was an immediate tap. Oh, you're going to move it? You're going to move it over and then deal another two? Okay. Do they know they're dead on board to this guy? I think they do, right? They have to, otherwise they wouldn't be doing all this. I think they're just... <laughs> Solid quote. Have yourself a merry little Michael B. You don't put the third light in your board and you played it. Uh not if you have that many not if you have that many five drops though. Like it gets to a point where you just don't want to have infinite five drops. That's not how And I'm pretty sure I just I said the same I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I said about dub and triumph. So you're just repeating me right now, Billy Gnosis, but whatever you want to do. So I really enjoy how focused Mike is during your streams. He doesn't ch constantly check his phone or another computer or anything. It's like we are his only friends. <laughs> yeah, just you in the chat, man. Okay, so you have one mana up. All right, I'll pump this. You have no flying blockers. Rescue is the only card you can actually play here. Billy Nose is like, I'm just going to say everything you said, but then I'll pretend like I didn't hear you at first. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Figured it out. Our opponent was like, I, was I hope he doesn't notice. Uh, you cannot have, you could have Blink, sure, but you're not going to be able to cast it with one island up, so. Good luck. I wish you luck doing that, but it's not going to work out for you. Um, no, I probably wouldn't play the third light. The deck already has enough removal. Like, you just don't need that much. I'd rather... You're going to get to a point in a game where they have a 2-2 and you have a blessed light in hand. Oh, they had Arcanist on board. That's a good point. I mean... They didn't have it, so whatever. Yeah, like, you just get to a point where, like, you want to actually have threats on the board. And I think Academy Journey Mage does a good... Like, you just don't need the... At a certain point, like, you just can't play all the removal. It's not... It's better than not having a Blessed Light in hand, but it's not better than than drawing an actual threat or another 5-drop that you can actually play to the board like a Cloud Reader Sphinx. Or even a Mesa Unicorn is better in that position. Like, you can't just jam your deck full of all the removal you have just because it's removal because then you actually dilute the other cards that you need to win a game of Magic. Like, 2-drops and 3-drops. Like you just you, you you can't just like that's that's why that's like just deck building fallacies. It's been very wet here. Hoping I can mow tomorrow. <clears throat> I also hope you can mow tomorrow. Well, you have to cut something for it. So like you can't propose they play another blink if they or another blessing if they don't cut anything else. But that also puts them to seven five drops, which is utterly insane. Because they have, he has no, uh, he has no other, other wizards to make academy ruins, academy. Uh... Also, not a big sparring construct fan. That's another card I would, I would be, I would, I would definitely play the Sanctum Spirit over the sparring construct every day of the week. What about Wednesday? Maybe. Also, if you're playing... It's weird that you're playing Sparring Construct but not playing Zahid. Because that's like one of the best reasons to play Sparring Construct. Is to hit that turn four Zahid. Wait, what just happened? You had the Construct there for Zahid but you didn't actually have Zahid in the deck. So there's two Sparring Constructs with a Zahid in the sideboard. <laughs> I don't think that works the way you think it works. What just happened to this deck? 
Oh, they're just... Oh, okay. They just got their splash colors more than their regular colors. I gotcha. Old slime foot. Oh, Cobalt, the draft is fine. It's just the deck building part that uh, that could use a little input. I think your deck looks great. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. That's rude. Old trash foot. I mean, we can just grow from the ashes for, for four here and then just sapling migration next turn, which seems fine. Like we have so much so much mana that I can care less. Oh, you guys thought this was swole Mike? This is definitely not swole Mike. This is thick Mike. I helped a new build draft deck the other day and was alarmed to find he initially included damping sphere. Has anyone seen anyone play a damp? Uh in in modern, yes. Dark Bargle. Also known as Dargle. Also known as Duh. We can just keep keep shortening it, man. Can you please eat this banana peel? No, no one donated yet. Oh, that's fair. So can we get a banana peel donation fund going? You've got that good migration. Man, killing that slime foot was... It was painful to me. It hurt me. Oh, 100 bits for banana for banoodles. <laughs> bits for banoodles is the name of my charity, actually. So that's that's convenient. 10 bits, 10 franc or Z bits. All right, we're getting there. How much? What's our goal to have, have you eat this banana peel? It's got to be a lot. <laughs> How much you think? What are you thinking? I don't know, like a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. This Maybe is actually, not a thousand. This Maybe. is actually a great draw. Here. I could pull it back from that. Watch us three lands. In before three lands. Oh, three good spells. Dang. Bah! I want to take Spore Swarm and Awakening. I think Awakening is probably going to be good here. You got that good vibration. You got that sap migration. You like sap migration? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Do I? I don't know. I would eat a banana for much less. I don't even eat bananas. Yeah, man, you love bananas. That's your literal favorite food. That doesn't mean I like banana peels. Yeah, but for the money? Think about the money, bro. I don't think Mike understands what a dark bargle is. It's a dangerous gamble that isn't exactly fair. 1,000 for banana peel? No, more like 120. What? <laughs> 101 for all the... 100 for all the... Wait, what? I don't understand what that means. For all the saps? Can we just triple block here? Can I quadruple block here? Is this even safe? Do I just get blown out by gift? I guess we'll find out. Stay tuned. Next time on... Your mom. Did we really just trade one Vidalian Arcanist for one Sapperling? One Sappy Seems Boy? Seems to be. Got those good migrations. If they watch them have gift and they'll be like untap this guy and I'll be like, why would you do that? Mike, your refusal to eat it can be seen as insulting. How do you think it makes the banana peel? How do you think it makes the banana peel? Wow. <laughs> Is that I can't tell if you mistyped or if that was an intentional That's uh, gotta be intentional. You're intentional. <clears throat> <laughs> That was good, Yoda. That was amazing. Man, you start work next week, too? That's amazing. Yeah. This is crazy, man. What a time to be alive. Give me those sappy boys. Uh, Because I want to play, play my sappy boys. That's why I didn't play Kick Druid. How dare you? Why don't you play a kick druid? Did you ever think about that? No, because you only think about yourself. Got him. 
Oh, all right. Well, so what do we have? We have three lands, so we get six. This is 12. You block one, and then we'll just win. Beep, beep. Five bones. If you don't need the peel, you have to kneel. What does that even mean? I don't know. Did you tap the new forest? Doesn't matter. They get haste. I'm glad they put haste on all the new ones so you can't get got. I'm gonna alpha your face. So even if they go blink block, it's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, fourteen, they go to one. I'll risk it for the biscuit. If they have a cryptic command, they can tap my team. But they have to have three blue for that, so. Yeah, that's the only reason that you don't have to consider that. <laughs> that's it, bro. Yeah, bro. <coughs> do -do -do -do. Seems like he gets the peel anyway then. Oh, nailed it. Despite our... Our, our unfortunate round one. We did end up going 2-1, which is pretty reasonable. So thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Slam the... Look, I do these, like, these little fangs. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. And uh, check out my Patreon page. It's in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.